Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. It is video number three in our six part series. Our paper sampler and summer sketch series is rolling on and we are going to dive in with a um, shortcut card sketch from our blog. So if you haven't seen our shortcut card sketch binder yet, this is the shortcut card sketch that binder that is available with our paper sampler. We have an open-ended annual catalog paper sampler and the sampler includes 13 different sample packs from the 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog and it comes with the shortcut card sketch binder to get you using that paper. So my heart here is that you would enjoy the paper sampler, some of each of 13 packs from uh, order from me, but I also want you to use that paper. So we're going to send you the shortcut card sketch binder with your sampler pack. The shortcut card sketch binder is six shortcut card sketches. We've got them laminated and in the binder for you. Now this is how I use my binder. I've got my shortcut card sketch number one here, then I'll add behind the shortcut card sketch. You'll get the laminated cards in your binder and then you can add page protectors if you like to use your binder like the way I do. You can add the project sheets that are samples of how to use shortcut card sketch number one or number two. We're going to use shortcut card sketch number two now. You'll see that I've got a couple of samples from the blog that use this card sketch in there for inspiration. I also use this as a way to organize what I'm working on. So I've got some uh, in project in process or in progress projects I'll just use these same little thin page protectors and keep the pieces for my in process projects right in with the card sketch that I plan to use so let's go ahead and take shortcut card sketch number two if you want to join us for our uh, sampler it, there are two levels that you can participate because of Stampin' Up's compliance, you have to email me and ask for the link to register. Level one includes the sampler and the binder. Level two includes the sampler, the binder, and these 3D Basics embossing folders. Now we're going to use the 3D Basics embossing folders throughout the entire uh, summer sketch series. I love this pack because there is something for every single card in this pack. We've got that little well, crosshatch that's embossed that's debossed it's a cool texture that you can add to almost anything the bubbles I love these bubbles it's just such a fun pattern that's debossed it looks like a golf ball and then we're gonna use this star weave today so that's embossed and that's debossed but every card in the series will use one of these folders and then you can get them included in your level too all right, let's go ahead and get started with our card. I'm going to grab my shortcut card sketch number two and the pieces that I have prepared here. Let's take a look at the sketch and what I've prepared. So for our card sketch, level A is an eight and a half by five and a half inch card base. It's scored at four and a quarter, so standard card base. And then Level B is these little strips marked on the sketch. These are five cardstock or designer series paper pieces, all three quarters of an inch by four and a half. So I've got this lovely inked botanicals designer series paper, and we are going to use five different patterns, all designer series paper. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want with this one use cardstock pieces and stamp so that they look kind of textured use cardstock pieces and emboss them mix cardstock strips and designer series paper this is where you get to make the sketch your own and really shine all right c is any shape of your choice i've got this pre-punched calypso coral i'm going to show you where i got this from in case you want to make this card this is the decorative circle punch and we punched that one for our level C. And then our layer D is any shape of your choice. We did very vanilla cardstock and die cut it with the second from the smallest die 
this little bracket top die um, using the tailor-made tags dies all right let's get started here by adding some fun textural elements visual texture elements to our card i'm going to get outside of the suite in a lot of these card sketches so you might expect that i'd grab the inked and tiled bundle to go with the inked botanicals designer series paper but i'm not going to do that i'm actually going to use petal park bundle i love this uh, photopolymer stamp set coordinating punch and then stampin up you know they're the masters of coordination i'm going to also bring in the sentimental park stamp set so these products all coordinate um, they were kind of made to be together but we're going to use that with the designer series paper that was featured with the inked and tiled bundle so i love to mix it up and that's kind of what we're we're going for as we um, go through this series is uh, challenging you to use that designer series paper and giving you the resource that you need to do it and then showing you the different designer series papers and how you can really um, use them outside the suite so got some petal pink ink here and our petal pink card base what we're going to do is take the outline image so with this petal park there's the outline and the fill it's a two-step stamp and we're going to do the outline I'm going to ink this up with petal pink and we're going to add a background to our card and it's going to give kind of a visual texture so we're going to go from the upper left corner and then flip and re-ink off to the low right corner all right, it's just a little something in the background to open up that cardstock layer so it's not just um, kind of flat blank. Now we'll add our designer series paper pieces. I'm gonna use some liquid glue. That'll give us some time to slide them around and arrange them. You wanna kind of balance and alternate the colors and patterns. I've got these that are Lost Lagoon and Pool Party. So I'm going to take the blue ones and they're going to kind of anchor our design. Put them kind of in the center here. Then we'll go through and add our petal pink. We can slide those together a bit and then overlap them. Then we've got this multicolor floral that's crushed curry and calypso coral. It's going to pick up on the calypso coral at the left side of our designer series paper layout. And then we've got this kind of filtered crushed curry plaid for the other side. Oh crud, I didn't want the two plaids together, but that's why I use the liquid glue. So I'm going to just pick up my plaid, move it over, pick up my floral, swap sides, and then move my plaid back <laughs> there. See? Everybody asks, um, for I, I get asked very often, I should say, why um, I love the liquid glue and why I use so much liquid glue. I, you will hardly ever see me use a dry adhesive tape runner. That was exactly why. I'm not even gonna cut that out because it illustrates my point so so beautifully. All right, so we've got our designer series paper. It's really starting to come together and look like shortcut card sketch too. Our C layer though is kind of like our background. It's a flat, um, solid, shape it's a flat solid layer so we added some stamping to break that up on the background for our c layer we're going to get our embossing folders i love these folders i think that sometimes people think of embossing folders and they think they've got to emboss the whole card front or they've got to emboss the card base they think of big chunks of embossing as a background I'd like to challenge you in this series where we're really featuring hard on these um, 3d basics to think about embossing 
as a way of embellishing. So we've got this little layer and we're gonna really jazz it up and add some excitement to our card by just popping it into that star weave folder and give it a crank. What's gonna happen is, is that solid, flat, um, opaque layer on your card is going to just really come to life and it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't add weight or bulk to the card. It doesn't, it is, doesn't require any extra purchase. You can do this right from your scraps and look at how nicely it just adds a little bit of uniqueness. All right, we got to do some stamping. So let's, just, let's set that aside. I'm using the Petal Park and Sentimental Park, which are photopolymers. So I've got my stamp and pierce mat. I'm going to use Calypso Coral and Lost Lagoon ink pulled right from our designer series paper selections. All right, be sure to wipe off your outline from your leaves and we're going to stamp them on some vanilla cardstock. Again, we're letting our designer series paper dictate um, white or vanilla. This one's definitely got vanilla background, so you wanna use very vanilla with your uh, Inks Botanicals designer series paper. Stamp your leaves, the outlines. Then you're going to bring in the two-step stamping. So here's your second step. Going to ink up the fill with Lost Lagoon, stamp it off, and then line it up and fill. Mm, I don't like that that's not super solid. If you don't have a nice solid stamp off, you're not going to have a nice even second generation fill. So let's do that again, maybe even one more time. Just really get this stamp saturated with ink. All right, then bring it, and I like to line up the little petal or the little leaves on these kind of sprigs. I'll line one and then rotate, line one and then rotate. And if it doesn't want to line up, here's a little tip for you. You want to take the leaf off of the block, lay it down, and let it just relax. You just want to kind of flop it down. If you're finding that it's not lining up, pick it back up on the block and then try again. So let's see if that lines up a little bit better. Much, much better. It's very important to let these two step stamps relax and then pick them up on the block. We're going to line this up take your time, check all your landmarks. My landmarks are these little leaves, these little leaves, these little leaves. Once I feel like I've got them, then I double check on these bigger um, leaves at the ends of the sprig. Now it's not going to be exactly perfect. That'll give you the highlights and shadows look that we're going for here. Now let's set that one aside and let it dry. I'm gonna do thanks from the Sentimental Park. Now, this Sentimental Park stamp set is a buildable sentiment set. So you could do thanks, um, you're amazing. You can do thinking of your anniversary, thinking of your graduate graduation. Let's celebrate your graduation, dear friend, um, you're amazing dear friend, happy birthday. So really fun mix and match greeting and then an expansion pack of the flowers. Really cool coordinating stamp sets. I'm keeping it simple today because I'm gonna use these as thank you cards. Spoiler alert for anybody who gets them. And we're going to do thanks in Lost Lagoon on the very vanilla tag. Set that one aside. Now for some fun, the flowers are always my favorite part and I love the two-step stamping and punching. We're going to pop the flowers onto vanilla cardstock. Now you wanna look at your punch before you stamp because I was just gonna put this so the smallest one was in the bottom corner. That's just kind of where I was at um, instinctively. But that would have meant that when I tried to put this into my punch, it would not have lined up. So always take a look at the bottom of your punch before you stamp an image that you're about to punch. It's just so much easier to look first, 
get it right and now see how that's going to line up perfectly when i go to put that in the punch and instead of trying to do punch gym, gymnastics to get that um, stamped image to fit inside the punch all right we've got calypso coral outline and we're gonna do like we did for the leaves get it the fill image really nicely saturated stamp off if you're noticing that it's not a nice solid stamp off try again and once you ink this a couple of times and stamp off you'll find that you'll get more and more solid now we're going to line this up fill it in with the second generation so we've got a lighter fill than outline love clear away the ink pads Now we can punch the flowers right out, but we're gonna have to fussy cut the vine for this particular design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my paper snips and just trim out this image. What I'll do is cut my leaves pretty close, but with a little vanilla border, and then I'll get into this center over here and just Cut it out, it's not gonna show, don't worry about being neat. And then continue around, just leaving a bit of a vanilla edge until you've cut out the whole sprig. All right, I'm done with my vine now, my punch. Let's get these flowers. I love how easy that is <laughs> I don't mind fussy cutting but that was easy all right we're gonna bring in our little lost lagoon tago if you didn't notice when I showed you the die chart the tags and the tailor-made tags have little reinforcers and we just cut one of those with lost lagoon let's get that adhered to our tag I just use a little drag of liquid adhesive here, but if you don't like the liquid glue, if it's not your thing, you can put some adhesive sheet on your Lost Lagoon scrap, then die cut the tago, then you could just peel and stick. I want some linen thread. I'm gonna tie a bow on my tag, and I want a nice loopy bow, real big decorative one. What I'll do is thread from front to back. And then, and no, I normally don't say tie that ink or not, because when you've got ribbon, this makes the center of the bow very bulky. But with linen thread like this, so it doesn't come untied, you're gonna go ahead and tie that anchor. It doesn't make uh, much more bulk, but it will keep your linen thread bow tied. And just finesse. And we'll cut from the spool. Ooh, paper scissors. Paper scissors around here do not work, not even on linen thread. I dull this pair of scissors in no time flat. All right, there's our gorgeous tag. I'm gonna get some liquid glue and adhere my embossed decorative circle. Starting to shape up, isn't it? And then I'm going to add my beautiful little vine here, little liquid glue. I'm gonna lay that over. Again, not really committing entirely until we see how the tag fits. We want it to kind of divide that label, not quite in half, we want a little higher uh, a little more label on top than on bottom. And once we got that, we can kind of secure both of these layers. Good, yeah. All right, now I need a little dimensionals. I'm gonna pop up these flowers. They are the star of the show here. No, they're not. The sketch is the star of the show, don't you think? Let's get that back in here so we can compare. I hope that you're enjoying the sketch series. If you haven't jumped in and uh, 
joined us with the sampler and sketch binder, you can um, throughout the entire series. There is a plan to expand the series. So sketch one through six is included in the annual catalog paper sampler. Sketch seven, eight, and nine is already developed and will be included in our holiday catalog paper sampler. So yes, to everybody who's asking, we are definitely going to do uh, more sketches. It will be something that you can build and enjoy and collect. So we are going to continue this. All right, let's add our last little flower. Here's our card. Now, of course, it's not finished without a little bling. Do you see those awesome co copper sequins? This is another one of my favorite products. We're using the um, 3D embossing folders and uh, lots of linen thread because it's a favorite. I'm really loving these um, neutral adhesive back sequins. You get 200 of them in four really flexible, awesome colors. I'm going to add gold ones this time. We're just seeing the difference and I'm being very generous with them. We're gonna do a little group of two here and then a little group of two this way. And then we're gonna take one big one. So we're doing five and put off there, of course, Crafty girls do what they want. Use the brown ones, use the copper ones, whatever makes you happy. There is our shortcut card sketch number two, which is the third video in our sketch series. We're not going in order. I'll see you back again here next week with um, shortcut card sketch number five. It's a brand new debut. If you would like to join us for the sampler and summer sketch series and you want to get your uh, binder and your paper at level one or if you want to get your binder paper and embossing folders at level three you have to email me for the link to participate to pay marissa at kitchen table stamper.com and to shop stampin up 24 7 buzz over to marissa alvarez stampin up Net. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in video number four.